Okay, so hey guys, I just want to say this. Let's share this video and get it out there so Boosted can see it. Maybe this will change the way Boosted does business when it comes to communicating. Maybe we can get some more effective communication when it comes to Boosted. That's kind of my whole goal. Now, I don't know if I'm going to put this in the beginning of the video or the end of the video. I'll probably put it in the beginning, but my whole goal with this video is to say that I love Boosted, like they're one of the best companies, but they have to change their practice when it comes to communicating with the customers when it comes to shipping. That's it, that is my sole purpose. Um, now on to the video, maybe this is at the beginning or the end, but this is my whole point with this particular video, is to just try to get Boosted to communicate a little bit better, but I'm hoping if this video gets enough traction and enough likes, we can get Boosted to finally respond on a timely basis. What's going on guys? So in today's video, I just kind of want to voice some frustrations. Now, I've been a Boosted Board fan for about a year now, and um, I'm gonna have to say that the one thing that I hated the most about the whole experience when I ordered my Boosted Board was the shipping. And well, now if you're a, now if you're a long time Boosted Board lover, this you've probably been dealing with this for um, multiple years beyond this probably starting back from the first original boosted board which i've done a little bit of research every single year that you've that boosted has come out with a product has always had shipping issues so i want to start out by saying that i absolutely love my boosted stealth i love my mini x um there's some of there i mean I, obviously they're my first ever boards when it comes to a electric now i've ridden other boards before but I have to say that I absolutely love the Boosted Stealth and Mini X. I do. It's one of the best board boards built. But I feel like Boosted has failed to realize that shipping a product and my experience with shipping is a major part of customer service. I feel like you just don't get that Boosted. Now there is no denying that when it comes to taking care of your products and taking care of customers after the fact of shipping that you are probably one of the best companies when it comes to customer service. There's no denying that. You always take care of your customers. You always go be above and beyond when it comes to taking care of your customers after they've gotten their products. But the experience that we have to deal with when it comes to shipping is just completely unacceptable. Like for me, it's just so frustrating. This is my second time around. And for other people, it's probably their fourth or fourth time around because you've had the, v, the first original, the V2, and then you've had the Stealth and the Mini X that just came out last year, and now you had the Boosted Ramp. That's four times that you probably made people angry with your shipping. And at, at some point, you would have to imagine that they would get it right. Now, I have to admit that they are, they're doing some things right. Last year was a complete disaster in my book because people were buying Boosted Stealths and Mini X, and they didn't pre-order. You could go out to Amazon, Best Buy, or some of these skate shops, um, retail stores basically, and buy a boosted board and kind of just walk in front of the line. While people like myself and people that ordered way before me did not receive their freaking boosted boards. So you literally just slapped all the customers in the face that pre-ordered this thing and gave all a lot of your shipment away to Amazon and stuff. And it's, I understand that they're customers. But at the same time, you should not treat your paying customers that were there before that pay directly to you. That I felt like that was wrong, but you didn't do that this year, which is a, is, is a bonus. Now there is a legitimate process to it to where people that paid for it or people that pre-ordered are gonna have the chance to get theirs first. But the big problem right now, Boosted, is the lack of updates. The lack of updates, the lack of not knowing where you are in the queue. We have to go to Reddit. And for me, that is just completely unacceptable for customers to take it into their own hands to give updates of where they are in the queue. So as of right now, we know that you haven't even fulfilled all of the reservations when it comes to the first people. Like we know that the first batch of people are in the 123 range. You haven't even sent out all the emails for them I'm in the 125s, so I know like this is the second, third week into freaking second week into um, July, and you've stopped. You've went dark. We don't know what's going on, and this is the common theme every single time. 
We know that everyone in the first batch has not been contacted yet, but yet and still you've gone completely silent, but you continue to have your marketing team come out and post on Instagram. I have to admit that's probably one of the just frustrating things about Boosted Board right now is the fact that you continue to pretend that nothing's going on and you have your marketing team still, still pushing the Boosted Rev and the Mini X and the Stealth. They're coming out multiple times a week, having people riding these products, and you don't even care that we're frustrated at the fact that there's no shipping going on. Like, yes, we understand that it's gonna ship two weeks after you get the freaking email, but there's only a small amount of people that got the email and no one understands why you stopped. Like giving us a freaking update monthly is just unacceptable when we're waiting for a product like that. Like why not give us weekly updates? And if nothing has changed, say nothing has changed. We're still experiencing delays. Like it's something as simple like, as saying that we are experiencing delays, we've stopped sending emails. We're making sure that your boosted rev is in the best condition. I don't know what you can say, but it's easy. You have a whole marketing team. It shouldn't take someone like me to get on YouTube to to, to freaking complain about this. It shouldn't take customers on Reddit to figure out what's the freaking process and create their own little program to know where people are in the freaking shipping order. Like why, why, why? You're not a small company, you're not a Kickstarter company anymore. Why do you continue to have this Kickstarter mentality? You have a freaking CEO that you're paying hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars to, you're not a small company. Small companies, I mean, come on. Kickstarter companies don't have CEOs that you're paying millions of dollars to or hundreds and thousands of dollars to. So I don't understand why you don't own your shipping issues, why you don't come out and give us updates. Now listen, you don't get frustrated with a company that you don't care about. I genuinely care about Boosted Board because I absolutely love their products. They're some of the best in the world. I wouldn't be frustrated if I didn't care about the brand. I genuinely care about the brand and I don't want to see the brand fall to the wayside, which I, obviously they probably wouldn't because they're the best. But it, I can imagine that it turns people off having to deal with some of the issues. And it's something as simple as, as freaking giving us updates, communicating with your customers Something that is so simple to do that you don't do, but yet still you will go out and create these wonderful freaking posts for Instagram and showing how great your product is, but yet still we don't have it in our hand. And listen, I understand, listen guys, they're not the only company that does this. Right now, there are a lot of upset customers with one wheel that are experiencing delays on shipping, but when it comes to the pint, um, <laughs> I don't really care about One Wheel. I think they're a great company. I'm a little afraid to get on a One Wheel, but I just expect more from Boosted. And a lot of people that are One Wheel lovers would expect more from One Wheel because they are a great company. They have like, in my opinion, some of the best products, but yet still, you can't get the shipping right. You can't get the marketing right by giving us a simple update. Not a monthly update, a weekly update. It's not hard. It doesn't take a lot of brain power to give us a weekly update. Nothing's changed. Hey, we've experienced a delay. Like, how hard is that to do? Boosted, I love you, but geez, we have to get the shipping situation fixed. And I'm not even talking about shipping them, just your communication. If you fixed your communication with the customer, I guarantee you, you wouldn't get so much hate when it comes the first three to four months when it comes to shipping. Now, after three or four months, everything's fine because the demand's not as high. Everyone's got the freaking boosted boards. But your lack of communication just irritates me. Like, that's all you have to do is, is freaking sit here and communicate with us. Tell us, guys, there's a delay. Not once a month, weekly or every two weeks. If you don't want to do weekly, do every two weeks. But stop sitting here slapping us in the face with all of your Instagram posts. If you're gonna give us an Instagram post, give us an update. Give us a weekly or every two weeks update. Ugh. You're just frustrating me again, Boosted. I don't understand.